has had another great goal line stand. You know, you don't, you don't really give anything in the second half, but the goal line stand seems to be kind of a, something your team can hang your head on. Well, uh, I think it says a lot about their belief and their mentality. Uh, and I'm, I'm very, very proud of that because that's hard to do. That's really hard to do. And at the same time, you know, proud of the win. And there was some a, a lot of good things. But, you know, because they were seventh ranked Russian offense in America coming in here and, uh, you know, had, had scored a lot of points. So uh, did a good job for the most part. You know, there's some things we've got to clean up and get better, you know, like the middle eight right there. Got to do a better job with that. Uh, but, you know, to, to clean up the mistakes, but I'm so proud of them. And, uh, you know, because they didn't wallow in self-pity. They came back and they went to work. And today they, their efforts and their attitude and their belief got, got rewarded. Um, Brent mentioned the emotional lift Danny brought back to the team. What was it like these last two weeks just seeing him anxious to play and fight for his energy and try to get back on the field? Well, Danny's a warrior. You know, he loves, he loves to play. He loves his teammates and he loves to compete. And, uh, you know, that's the awful part of an otherwise great game is when somebody gets injured. But, you know, you miss that presence on the field. And it was good to get him back out there and uh, t tonight. And we played a bunch of different combinations at linebacker. But uh, it was great to have him out there. And, uh, you know, because he, he, he did a great job leading our, our guys. Well, well, he wasn't on the field uh, these past couple weeks. He's, that's who he is. So uh, proud of him at the same time. Looking forward to, you know, continued development, continued improvement, continued health. Yes, Brent, this question. I know you don't get caught up on individual awards, but he was in the semifinals for the Bupkis Award, which caught a lot of you off guard. What are your thoughts on something like that for Dan? I believe in Danny Stutzman. I know what kind of football player he is. We know Danny and Kip individually very capable. What struck you about the, the partnership and then playing together the way they did? Uh, you know, just different type of players. You know, it's, it's good to have a guy out there that's battle-tested and scarred up and been through the fights like Danny with a guy like Kip who's just starting to play and you know move into that role and uh, you know it was like I said there were a lot of different combinations that played tonight uh, but it's it's good to have that stabilizing presence in there with a young guy so when young guys make mistakes which is something young guys do that he's able to help get him back on track and not 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 stay off the track too long. I just asked Danny about this and he remembers meeting Kip as this undersized kid who had a lot to learn. What do you recall about the linebacker you came across? When you were uh, a guy that could really, really, really run and uh, a guy that was undersized, but at the same time, uh, he's done a good job. I and mean, Coach Smith's done a great job, you know, helping put the weight on our, our, our nutritionist. And uh, so pleased with him and he's, he's going to do nothing but just get better. And he's going to continue to get bigger because this is important to him. And uh, again, another guy that just cares a lot about about this team. I want to ask you about ahead, looking forward. Uh, we won't get to talk to you before Provo. Have you been to Provo for a couple games? Yeah, I yeah. have. Uh, was there, and uh, I don't remember what year it was, but uh, the uh, guy that's quarterback for the Saints Hill, he was a the quarterback there. Okay. Yeah, and he was. I remember it was a it was a great environment, great atmosphere. If you're a competitor, you want to be in those types of places, and uh, so. Last two road games, just what can you learn from those two games at Lawrence and Stillwater that you can take on the road at the Provo next week as a defense? Well, you know, physicality and execution travel, mindset travels. And, you know, we've got to do a better job than, than what we've done, you know, on the road. And, uh, you know, there were a lot of good things, but, you know, didn't quite get it done a couple of times. And, uh, you know, the, the little things make big things happen, and those are the – those are the lessons that I think that we've learned the last couple of weeks, painful lessons, uh, but at the same time we've learned them and we're, we're fighting on and moving forward. We good? All right. Thank you.